Hey everybody, DJ Thompson here with the Tack Bracket. Uh, today we're going to do a little testing on how efficient the Tack Bracket allows you to be in case you ever get in that situation where you have to draw your firearm. Uh, if you carry a gun in your car, it's probably because someday you think you're gonna, you might have to draw that firearm. And if you do, uh, drawing it efficiently, uh, drawing it while keeping your eyes on the threat, uh, we feel are very important. Uh, so what we're going to look at today is uh, we're using a shot timer and uh, we're going to look at our speed. Uh, we'll go three different directions, the front windshield, uh, this windshield, and then at you, the camera, those are the threat positions, and we'll see how we do on the times. And then we'll compare it to a gun just in the console with a holster. We'll compare it to the, the old uh, standard, the glove box, and see how fast those are in comparison. What we're really looking for here is, in all three of those scenarios, is can I keep my eyes on the threat and still find the weapon? And then also, how fast uh, can I draw the weapon? Um, so I, I'm not a, I'm not a pro. I'm not an operator. I'm just an average citizen who's who you know carries a, a gun in my car and uses the tack bracket. So uh, here we go. I use this shot timer. and We'll show you the shots every time. Uh, the first one will will simulate uh, going out the front window as the threat. Boom. Two seconds. Two seconds. Uh, that feels a little slow, but. Uh, And now we'll go. Uh, now we'll go out this uh, driver's side window as the threat. Boom. One point nine eight seconds. One point nine eight seconds. And now finally we'll come at uh, we'll come at you, uh, the camera, as if there's a threat out the passenger side window. Boom. One point seven seconds. 1.7 seconds and let's try you know as we get a little practice here let's try that front windshield again boom 1.6 seconds 1.6 seconds so now let's try some other scenarios all right for our second test today uh, we're gonna scenario where someone maybe uses a, a you know a level two retention Kydex holster maybe for safety I mean another level of safety anyway this is actually the same holster using the G code uh, great G code quick disconnect system I've just removed it I'm just going to put it in my in my console show you the close up of that and then uh, so I've got to, I've got to basically you know deploy the weapon um, you know the, the most efficient way to probably do this is have the is have the you know it's sitting in there like that. Uh, which unfortunately has uh, you know the, the weapon pointing at the back seat. Uh, so you know I, I would I would probably wouldn't do that. I would probably have the weapon in there facing forward and laying on its side. Um, and that's how we'll run this test: is laying forward, laying on its side. Uh, this is a pretty clean, uh, pretty clean console. So you know we're not adding anything like getting gloves out of the way. And a lot of you probably are, are guilty of that having things sitting on top of your of your firearm. So we're going to run a pretty clean console and just uh, getting it out of the holster. And then, um, and then, uh, you know, same thing, three different thread angles. Boom! 3.09 seconds. 3.09 seconds. You know, I think that uh, on there, I tried, to, I tried to draw the weapon down here so I didn't have it, you know, coming up here with, you know, and, and there may be different ideas on how to do that. Uh, but that's just kind of that's just kind of my natural. That was just kind of my natural instinct on how to do that. All right, now we'll come uh, we'll come at you the the camera as if the threat. Boom! All right, that time I really tried to not look and find it. I mean that's that's really assuming that you, that the thing has stayed in place. It's not connected to anything. Uh, that was three point four three seconds. And um, you know it's almost almost two seconds slower. Uh, I didn't try to find it. I'll do this one, or I'll I'll look down at the gun, which is taking my eyes off the threat. But this time I'll look down and see if that speeds it up at all, going toward you, the camera. Boom. Two point five six seconds. So I think we're, you know, on our fastest times, we're about a second faster with the tack bracket for sure. And again, this is best case scenario.
Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go driver's side now. Boom. 3.09. As an example, where I just put it back in there, it wasn't exactly in the same position, uh, and it just uh, you know it cost me another half second to a second. Um, and I think the big thing there is I got to thread out this way, and I've got to basically go try to find because I don't know exactly where this thing is. Um, and this is this best case scenario where I just put it in there 10 seconds before. So now let's go to, uh, let's try just a regular inside the waistband holster where I don't have that level two retention. Okay, now we've got the inside the waistband holster, just a normal leather holster with the Glock 26 blue gun simulation. And uh, we'll try the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try the, this first round of these first three, I'm gonna try to not look at the weapon. I've got some threat. Uh, I don't know if they're drawing a, a drawing on me, or maybe they have something where I, I've got to keep my eyes on there. So I'm going to try these first three to really not look down to find the weapon and see how it goes. Boom! 3.07 seconds. 3.07. Okay, now coming at you, the camera. Again, eyes are going to focus to you and not look at the weapon. Boom! 2.94 seconds. 2.94 seconds. Now the tough one where I'm looking the other direction. Three point three three seconds. Three point three three seconds. Top one there. Three point three three seconds is uh. So now we'll switch to go to uh, the glove box. Okay, scenario number three. The old glove box it's where so many people carry. Uh, maybe before there were large center consoles like this. A lot of people carry in the glove box. Some people I think still do. So uh, we're going to basically. Uh, it's in there in an inside the waistband holster. It's pointing away from me so the handle is, is easily accessible to me. And again, I'm going to try to do these uh, the first time without looking at what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the threat. So let's see how we do. Boom! 2.77 seconds. And again, I saw, I totally looked. I, I totally looked. Let's try that again. I'm going to try not to look. Uh, that's just that's just natural uh, trying to find it. Boom! Three point seven one that time without looking. Three point seven one. So we're almost you know we're over two seconds slower than our fastest time with the tack bracket. Two seconds in a scenario like this is just uh, just an eternity as you can imagine. So uh, now let's come uh, let's come to you. And uh, again, I'm not going to look. I'm going to keep my eyes on you. You're the threat of the camera. Boom! 3.03 seconds. 3.03 seconds. And now we'll go the, the tough one where I'm looking away and trying to find both the glove compartment and, uh, and, the, and the weapon. Classic example. Uh, I've got I got a whistle tied up with the gun because it's in there in the glove compartment with all kinds of stuff, and I'm not looking for it. Uh, 4.35 seconds, uh, just something random. I'm a coach, and something random is in my car, and and that's uh, that's obviously not good. That could jam. That could jam. That string could have got caught in the in the in the slide on the second or third shot. Uh, could have hampered. Uh, could have hampered the, the my, my ability to use the weapon. So. Uh, Hope these tests have been interesting. Uh, these are these are just three scenarios where I think people carry the center console just in a regular holster, in the glove compartment a regular holster versus the tack bracket. And I hope you can see, uh, you know, our times of the tack bracket were a second to, uh, you know, sometimes several seconds faster than these other scenarios.